Hey guys, it's Jarita from the Bermuda Market. Today we're having our first training session with the sales team. Um, their task was to take the Arm & Hammer baking soda and use it around the house. So today they are reporting back and we're going to see videos, pictures to see how creative they got. Okay, let's take a sneak inside guys. So it said to just use soapy water I and mean, this should be beautiful. So let's just see. Do we have any soap? Oh. It is in that blue right next to the hand sanitizer, that little bottle. Yeah. You need to give it a little scrub, but I got muscles, a little bit of muscles. Oh boy, oh, it looks like it's working. Just, I think I just oh, need wow. a scrub a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, let me take this tape off. Come yeah, here. Definitely see it in before and after. Yeah, because that is a nuisance to clean. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. You can actually, yeah. yeah, you can see, yeah, there's a big difference. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, that looks good. So to get a, a full test to really make sure it works, I have some pans at home <laughs> that I want to bring down and do a double blind to make sure that this isn't been painted. Oh, that sounds really interesting. Let me know when you're available to read our joint. I'm I'll bring some too. We will all bring two pans each to yeah. make sure that this yeah. is nothing tampered with. No, honestly, guys, I did not tamper with this. Okay, so that's the end of our first training, guys. Yeah, that looks good. A plus. Yeah, you got A plus. Yeah. A plus? Yeah. Wait till you see our video, sir. Okay, we can come back to that. Oh, yeah, that is actually beautiful. 
Yeah. I think I could see myself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. I've tried to clean those before with just soap and a brush, and it's a nightmare. So that make it easier. I can't even wait. Can I do a more policy? Do I have my hammer? We're starting to clean our sinks with bacon soda. That's before. We've had five tablespoons of bacon soda. Some white vinegar. Be careful because it foams off. Mix it a bit. Then we apply it on the sink. here at the bacon soda. Spread it evenly. Leave each sink for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now I'm going to wait 15 minutes, then we'll see the end result. The sinks with the bacon soda, and now we'll start doing the cleaning. As you can see, I'm not putting a lot of force on it. Nice and smooth.
clean this off. Doing the other side. As you can see, it works nice and clean. In the morning, I like to use Arm & Hammer baking soda to give my teeth a nice clean shine. Pretty white. All right, that's it. Okay, so now I've sprinkled bacon soda in my seeds. Sitting for 24 hours in my car seats, that is. Sitting for 24 hours. Now I'm gonna vacuum it out. Okay, so now I vacuumed out all the baking soda. Now I'm gonna take baking soda, put it in cupcake tins, cupcake cups, put it under my seats for a deodorizer. And here we go. Put the bacon soda under my seats in cupcake tins because nobody gets in my back seat anyway. And that is it for my show and towel. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Bermuda Kitchen. My name is Mark, and we're going to demonstrate 
how baking soda, particularly arm and hammer baking soda, uh, will help peel boiled eggs. So, I have my two eggs, I have my baking soda, especially arm and hammer, perfect. And I have my boiling pan of water. Um, would you mind just scanning in and just having a look at a boiling pan of water, as you can see? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add half a teaspoon. Apparently helps with the pH value. And then I take my eggs, pop my eggs in, making sure not to burn my hands. Pop them in there. Quite simple. Give it a little stir just to make sure it's all good. Rest that on the side. And then put the top on. I'm going to leave that for, for probably four minutes because I like mine a little bit hard, semi harder. Okay, so I've now, uh, my eggs are now boiled. Um, I've placed them on the side. Uh, I've got a teaspoon ready and I've got my toasted, uh, toasted soldiers ready to go. Um, I'm going to take the egg. And now the moment of truth. Cut the egg. Let's see whether this is easier to peel or not. Oh yeah, it just comes off nice and easy. Look at that, brilliant. Literally one little thing like that, which is great. Let's try the other one. Little crack. Try not to crack the egg. I'm not a chef, by the way. There we go. And there we have two beautiful eggs and ready to go. Thank you. One. Hi, I'm going to add one egg, a half a cup of sugar, a cup of butter, which I'm just going to plop in there, and then one cup of molasses, which I thought I was organized with. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm going to add one cup of molasses. I'm using old grandma's molasses, which I just want to make sure that I get every single morsel out. So I'm just going to scrape that. A spoon of salt, a spoon of ginger, and the star of the show is one teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm just going to add all this together. Okay, that looks Here we have the end result of my gingerbread made with almond hammer baking soda. Voila!